So I have a plot twist for you all. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Today I'm flying out to Milan. I'm so excited. Um, I'm in the process of packing, as you can see. The weather in Denmark right now is super gloomy, so I'm looking forward to seeing some sun and not wearing my big puffy jacket. But yeah, I just need to finish packing and we'll be all set. Absolutely gorgeous here. It's like 55 or something like that. Crazy. And I'm off to go to my Airbnb. I made it to my Airbnb. The host that I'm staying with, her name is Alice, and I was greeted by her dad, who was so nice. He showed me around and showed me like the amenities and everything. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go to one of the bars down the street. Here's my room very quickly. It's really cozy. Morning. Happy Sunday. It is around 9 o'clock this morning. I'm on my way to city center right now.
So now I'm headed to Cimitero Monument Monumentale, which is the monument cemetery i know what you're thinking like a cemetery but like the monuments are gorgeous there's there are lots of sculptures so that's why we're going We're back at the Momo, now let's get onto the roof. So Duomo was absolutely gorgeous. I picked the perfect time to go. I definitely recommend going at sunset. But my battery is dying, so I think I'm gonna go home and then figure out what to do for dinner. So I think I'm gonna go to this risotto place like a few minutes down the street. Forgive me for being an idiot and not knowing that risotto was like a Northern Italian thing, but it is, so I figured why not since I'm here and like, I mean, Northern Italy is probably the best place to try a risotto. That risotto was so delicious, I wanted to cry. Oh my God. I'm headed back to my Airbnb and tomorrow morning I leave for Florence. So yeah, stick around for that. Good morning from Milan. So I have a plot twist for you all. Um, so because of the coronavirus, there are like 10 cities that are affected just like southeast of Milan and they're all like under quarantine. So they're like borders are shut. So if you go into those towns, like you basically can't get out. And this morning, like I said, I'm supposed to go to Florence, but I'm pretty sure like my train goes through that region. And right now, like the virus is kind of in the t the northern portion of Italy, but obviously I don't know if that's gonna like, if it's gonna spread down south. So I don't know if the airports are gonna be open. So I have to fly out of Milan tonight. I already booked my flight and <laughs> I'm really upset about it, of course. But yeah, it literally, it went from like, five cases on Friday to 150 um, yesterday. So they truly just had like a huge outbreak and I think it's in my best interest to get out while I can. Um, I'm really bummed. There was so much I wanted to do and so much I wanted to see, but I think leaving is probably the wisest decision at the moment. So yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the last couple hours I have here in Milan. I'm gonna go walk around a park, um, eat some gelato, 
and and yeah. <laughs> Hello from Denmark. Are you surprised I'm in a hotel? Um, yeah, me too. So basically, DIS and my host family wanted to take some precautions about um, my health. They were concerned that I might have been in contact with someone who was sick. And so I'm here camping out in a hotel for the next two weeks. I'm not in quarantine by any means. I'm still like, w like able to like go out and do things. I can go travel. Um, but DIS and the host family were a little concerned about um, the family's health, so I'm here and I think it's for the best. Hello, it's future Nicole here and I just wanted to hop on here while I was editing to give a quick disclaimer slash explanation about that last clip you just saw. So obviously the whole situation around COVID-19 has changed drastically since that was filmed. Um, but I just wanted to say that, of course, when I landed in Denmark, I was so paranoid and concerned that I had contracted the virus. So, like, immediately after I landed, I called the Denmark emergency hotline. I talked to several nurses, several doctors, and they all said the same thing. Side note, I should also mention when I landed in the airport, I was feeling a little bit feverish. But when I talked to all the nurses and doctors, they all said the same thing. Because I had only been in Milan for like a day and a half, there's no way that I could have contracted the virus and shown symptoms like within the time frame that I was there. I was only there for a day and a half. So I, it was, very unlikely that I had gotten the virus and none of the doctors and nurses were concerned about it and I asked if it was okay if I still went to classes, went around the city, if I wanted to travel and try to salvage the rest of my travel week. They all said yes. They all said I was free to go about my daily life and keep continue interacting with people but they did say if I ever started showing symptoms that was when I needed to sit down and stay in my hotel room. So basically like my entire time in quarantine was basically not because any medical professionals were concerned that I had contracted the virus, but it was more for the peace of mind for my host family. Um, my host mom and my host sister, they both have asthma. So of course they were like concerned because they're at like a, a slightly like greater risk. So it was more so for their peace of mind. I just wanted to throw this in there because it truly was not me being ignorant and like ignoring the whole situation when I was walking around Denmark, as you will see in the next vlog. I truly was just like going by what every single medical professional had told me. So I just wanted to put that out there. Also, I'm sorry for <laughs> procrastinating on editing my vlogs. It's just difficult because I know like I'm nearing the end of my time in Denmark and there are going to be a lot of waterworks coming up. So be prepared for that. Otherwise, thank you for watching this vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed my day and a half or so in Milan. I definitely did. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.